What's happening, y'all? J to Pippen back at it like a crack at it. But I'm for real. I'm back with the football highlights. I got my Jags again three weeks in a row. We on a three game win streak, bro. This is the first three game win streak I think I've seen from us since 2017. I'm pretty sure all the record, like every, everything that we did good, the last good things we did, everything was in 2017. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I kind of don't even know how to feel myself. This was this was like a dominating. Let's let's get it cracking, y'all. Let's get it cracking. But this was a dominating win. Um, I. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> first highlight. I'm, I'm going to say this every single week that y'all come up here to watch me. I'm going to say this exact same phrase for both Trevor and Travis Etienne. They fumble so much, bro. They fumble so much. They fumble so much, and they fumble to start every drive. Like, Trevor's either going to fumble on the first drive or he's gonna fumble on on like the second to last drive or the last drive. Etienne, he's gonna fumble on the first possession of every single game. Every game, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't do it this week, I don't think. But Trevor made up for him for, you know what I'm saying, getting Etienne's early game fumble out the way. That shit was embarrassing to watch. That shit was embarrassing to watch. When you know this man fumbles the ball all the time, to watch him start the game with a fumble and it's Quinn Williams, I'm like, bro. That is just not cool. Cisco! He sick and missile! What you talking about? Cinco Cisco! Cinco Cisco! That jersey number change has... Dang, that joint did not look good. I was watching, I knew they made it, it still didn't look good. But that jersey number change rule has been... Ooh, such a nice concept. And he is out for a smooth like 30 yards, he's so tough. What the hell was I even talking about? I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Lucky for me, I waited a day, so I didn't. I don't. I don't even remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a photographic memory of the game, bro. So I had actually forgot this. This man fumbles every game. You thought I was playing. You thought I was just sicing. I'm not sicing. What? Watch this. I'm running, I don't know if you can tell, damn, I'm running this joint in 1080p, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I felt like flexing this week, you, usually I bust with the 720, because I know my computer be folding, but this week I'm like, nah, I'm going to go with the 7 I'm going to keep it real, I, I've been flexing too hard, I'm going back to 720, y'all, let's keep it real, I'm sorry, y'all, my week. I got, I got this man Christian Kirk on my fantasy team, so he'd be the one that I really want all the touchdowns to go to. When I saw this, I was sick. I'm in the toilet bowl, but I still want to win, bro. We get we get some, some money for winning, so. Man, do we even... <laughs> Do we even take the time to talk about Zach Wilson? I feel like everyone has already talked about him enough. What what more could I say? What's new under the sun? Um, one thing I will say about Zach Wilson is, point blank, the right now the dude sucks. I'll be honest with you. The ooh, good stuff. Get that play. Right right now the dude sucks. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna just keep playing. I don't know why I even paused it. Um, but right now the dude sucks. But it's not fair because if you look last year, Trevor himself wasn't that great. And he didn't progress much from the start of last year to the end, except in terms of mentality and leadership. But there wasn't a really like a lot of ways for him to progress because people are running like cover one, cover one, cover zero the whole year last year. Straight man coverage, pressing our receivers. No one's getting any kind of um, uh, no one's getting any kind of like separation. So they're just running, you know, it's cover one man. I'm like, how is Trevor going to learn how to beat a cover three zone? You know what I'm saying? How is he going to beat a disguised cover two, you know what I'm saying, hybrid kind of zone Um, if all he ever sees is cover one man? Let's go. Trevor with a Superman, boy. Um, so I knew he wasn't going to progress much. But I'm just saying with Zach Wilson, it's not fair because Zach Wilson didn't get a Doug Peterson in his second year. Like, his coach isn't an offensive-minded coach, and they don't have a very – crazy offensive playbook you know what I'm saying they 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 are a team that is running on Brees Hall on offense straight up and as you can see there's no Brees Hall and there is no offense Mike White is tough though Mike White is tough in this system I just feel like if you if you drafted Zach Wilson knowing he's a completely raw talent 
I don't know how you're mad at him for for showing you that he's a raw talent. Like he can still flick the ball down the field 60 yards effortlessly, but you never taught him how to be a real quarterback. Look at this man. This is a real quarterback because someone taught him. Someone taught him for real. Look at this. Look, Doug's scheme makes it so easy for Trevor. It's so slept on. It's, it's a shame. This man, Evan Ingram, is a beast. No, Sykes right here, boy. I'm telling you. Christian Kirk on my fancy team. I don't care if we throw him 50 bubble screens a game for one yard each, boy. I'll be Sykes. <laughs> I'll be sized. So uh, humble and gracious with his time and you know, always giving back. Uh, it'll be missed by so many. Yeah, their offensive line wasn't playing great football either, but it's hard to be motivated when you're down 13 3 and your quarterbacks play like complete dookie for the first, you know, for the first two quarters. And they're in third and 18 the whole game, bro. Like. <laughs> This was an amazing game for us. I'm, I'm not even taking the time to size how great we are. I'm just so focused on how they, they have places they need to improve at. Which is funny, seeing as how they started the year. Cook. We do not begin the ball to Etienne enough in, in, the, in the past game. Um, but it's funny because they started the season off so much better than us, giving us advice. And now here I am trying to, <laughs> trying to give them advice. As if we're, we're a playoff team. We're not even a playoff team yet. 1K yards for Etienne, baby. 1K. 1K, boy. He is tough. He's the only... I was sick. Etienne's the only person that can fumble away every first drive and still reach a hundred yard or a thousand yards in um in like 15 games while also not even being the full-time starter for the first half of the season. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I have never seen a more flute player than this man, Devin Lloyd. Like, no offense to him at all. But when I tell you he has the most filled up stat sheet for someone that seems like he never knows what he's doing and that's always in the wrong position, it's like every time he's in the right position, he gets rewarded with a free turnover, you know what I'm saying? Everyone else is in the right position, but he's the one that gets rewarded. It's so funny to me. Good idea, though. I don't care. That's a good idea. Even, even though the Patriots just, you know, folded on that to lose the game, I think getting that pick and tossing it to Cisco, who really will run one back as he's done earlier, uh, was a good idea. All right, let me focus on us, bro. Look at my quarterback. Look at the general. Step back, dot. I love Evan Ingram so much. <laughs> he's like, he's like get, the, get, the, get the fuck off me, sauce, boy. Get off me. Get off. I love our team, bro. I love our team. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the I love the different pieces that we have on both offense and defense. I'm loving how when everything gels together, it's actually really fun to watch. You know, I'm not even so much pressed about winning these games right now, as I this man Strebler was cooking us. <laughs> oh my God! But I'm not stressed as much about winning these games as I am about the fact that we actually look like we're playing good football. It's it's really exciting in Jacksonville. Free touchdown, by the way. That was a free touchdown. If he th if he throws that pass like a normal quarterback would, if he wasn't Strebler, that's a free touchdown. There was no one on that side of the field. We were getting cooked by this whole quarterback is going to run concept. We were getting demolished by this. I was actually worried for a second. I'm not going to lie. Right here is where I was worried. I'm like, bro, they're just moving the ball. <laughs> they're just moving the ball however they want. And then they start passing. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. That was a good pass, but if they would have just kept running the ball, they would have they could have ran the ball. They could have literally, I'm not even kidding you. I realized when this was happening, when this drive was happening, they could have ran the ball with Strevler every single play with like one play having an out. One play having like a quick dump off in case it's a pass um or in case we like run commit. They could have ran the ball with Strevler the whole time and got all the way to the end zone. They just decided to start passing here at the end, and that's why they lost. If this man just runs, I, he's going to run through Devin Lloyd and get an extra two yards. All right, never mind. I don't know what I was talking about. Apparently, they got the first down. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. 
All right, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. I just don't like that idea. I like that idea with Trevor, but I, I don't like that idea with Trevor. This man is dotting. This man is dotting these days, bro. Etienne's getting better running through the tackles, too. If if Etienne stops fumbling, he's a premier back in this league. I'm telling you right now. If he stops fumbling, he's a premier back in this league. We don't even use him enough in the past game, which is, I'm telling you. He's just <laughs> he's just being super efficient. Bro, look at how quick my quarterback is getting the ball out. I wish he would have doubted that. Evan Ingram was doing a pretty decent job on Sauce Gardner. I'm not going to lie to you. Or with Sauce Gardner on him. Like, you see how it's not that I'm not excited. It's just that. Oh, my God. That was so tough. That, why doesn't stuff like that happen when we're in a close game? Why doesn't stuff like that happen when it's 7-7? Like, why doesn't stuff like that happen when it's a three-point margin and we need this lot? I'm happy it happened, but at the same time, it was just so unnecessary. They weren't gonna, they weren't threatening us. Look at, look at this man get freaking smacked! Oh my God, he got smacked, bro. He got smacked so hard for no reason, for little. <laughs> For no reason, you got yourself smacked, bro. You got decleated. And this was steals. I don't. Are there even any more highlights after this? This joint was cooked. Let's keep it real. This game was not a good game. Honest to God. And for the first time, it was not a good game, and it wasn't our fault. <laughs> it wasn't our fault. It wasn't a good game, bro. We did our job. Yeah, but no joke. The Jets need a legit offensive mastermind if they want to if they want to keep this Zach Wilson project going. If they're not gonna get an offensive mastermind, they should just get rid of Zach Wilson. I'm gonna keep it real because it's not like the talent that they saw in pre-draft isn't there. It's just that he never really showed any of the basic quarterback skills that they're now mad at him for not having. Zach, Zach Wilson, the only dude I would I don't like that throw either. I really don't. I, I know Garrett Wilson is good. I just don't like it. But Zach Wilson is the only dude I will ever see constantly have a man wide open in the flat. Wide open. That joint's tough. And just not throw it to them. I, I, he will have someone wide open in the flat and will be looking 40 yards down the field, bro. It, It's unbelievable. It's <laughs> It's unbelievable. He has a lot of growth, you know, to do. But I've always liked, I've liked all the quarterbacks from this class. I like Trevor. I like Zach Wilson. I like Trey Lance a lot. I like Justin Fields. I'm not going to pretend I'm a huge Davis Mills fan, but I do support him because, you know, he was in the class and he was getting it done. He's obviously not great, but I support all of them. So I really want Zach Wilson to get his stuff together. I hope Trey Lance can come back next year, bounce back from injury, and really be that dude in the Shanahan offense. And I hope Justin Fields, you know, like I just hope he gets more talent around him and either his coach does what he's doing right now better or they get a better coach that's more suited for him. I actually heard, I think it was Jim Harbaugh. They were thinking about bringing him back. I don't know if it was to the, the Bears, but I guess I just thought it would be a decent idea since he was, you know, with Colin Kaepernick and his brother is with Lamar. He probably got some insight of, you know, how to, how to go about it, but... Um, either way, let me give this a like. This was not a great game. I'm not going to lie to you. This was not a great game like the last two games were. But sometimes you got to sit up here and just win boringly. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to win a boring game and be happy with it. So I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the outcome. I hope we keep winning more games like this. I hope we win out the rest of the year. I hope we don't even get complacent. Just win out the rest of the year. Beat the Texans and beat the Titans. Because quite frankly, we haven't beat the Texans. Everyone talks about how we haven't beat the Titans in years. We haven't beat the Texans in years, so beat the Texans and then beat the Titans and, you know what I'm saying, and go into the playoffs and go into the playoffs as a new organization, the new Jaguars, boy. All right, y'all, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. You hear me, hear me, hear me.